TVC News correspondent Harry Etier joins us now from Surulere, residence of the late producer. And with us in the studio is a journalist, Biotun Kukwoli, with more perspective on OJB's death. Well, let's start with you, Harry. What is the mood right now in Surulere? Well, the mood is very serene. Um, the family, friends and colleagues have come out to pay tribute and show support to the family of the late OJB Jezreel. Um, news reached us, you know, at about 11 a.m. this morning that um, the legendary Sengan producer had passed away. And uh, right now the family is requesting for privacy. But we have um, Jaye Maradeo, who is his personal and business manager and is ready to speak with us right now to give us more insights on what has happened. You know, hello Jaye, how's it going? Um, we're doing good. I'm sorry about your loss. I cannot imagine what you're going through right now. But um, I know there's a lot of stories going on online. Can you just clarify some of these issues? What exactly happened with OJB? Okay, um, we all know that OJB had um, a kidney transplant some years back. And he has actually been always fighting. And um, he's a very strong man. He did good for fighting. But um, between the hours of like um, 7 o'clock today to 7, 9 o'clock today, he actually buzzed and said he was going for his dialysis, which... We actually said, okay, we will meet there. Then um, I called his wife, and the next thing I I heard was his wife said, we should come down, we should come down, we should come down. Okay, I came down. I'm in his house right now. Too much of stories on the Internet, the media carrying too much of stories. But the truth about it is that we heard that they said he died three weeks ago, and the family, they've been trying to cob almost everything. That's a lie. We lost a father today. It's so painful to our hearts, but... Um, he passed away today, around the hours of eight and nine o'clock. Um, is there, is there? Because um, I know a lot of people are, you know, um, confused as regards, you know, he was taking dialysis, but we know we had a kidney transplant a few years back. You know, was there a relapse of, of like, like the media is reporting that there was a relapse, you know, with his kidney issues? You know, what exactly happened with that? Okay, we never pray for a kidney um, problem, but the truth about it is that once you have um, this kidney transplant, you always have to do a dialysis. This dialysis takes the toxin off your body because your kidney cannot do the work. So he does that like every, like three times in a week, which he was actually prompt in doing that. So between the time of his, um, his, um, between the time of his dialysis, Complications comes up, and uh, we try to fix the complication by drugs and by normal dialysis. So he was fine. The kidney was doing good. As much as if you know what kidney, the kidney problem is all about, you know everything about it. But he was doing fine. He was doing good. No relapse, nothing. Just the normal dialysis problem that he used to have. So. Okay. What are the funeral arrangements for um, the late OJV? Oh, Baba Tunde Kungbowa has um, a father who is still alive. And um, the family has not said anything about the funeral arrangements right now. And the truth is, he's not a Muslim, so they're not burying him immediately. He actually wished big things for himself when he, he... He actually used to talk about when I die, this is where I want to be buried, this is what I want. He had plans, he had the OJB next rated, he had the OJB superstar for December, the concert for December. He had too many things, so he's still going to be kept till when the family decides what to, what to do. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so we've been speaking with Jaye um, um, Aradeo, who is the personal and business manager to OJB Jezreel. Thank you, Harry, for bringing us up to speed with what is happening there in the late OJB's uh, house. Now we come back to the studio to our guest, uh, Biodun Kupoli, an entertainment journalist. Thank you once again for have, uh, coming to TVC News. Uh, now, thank you. another death hitting the entertainment industry. What is your most fond memories of uh, OJB Jezreel? Did you have any contact with him? Oh, really, very, very much. Several times we worked on a few projects together. We were on Ovation Red Carol together. And of course, uh, in the course of my career as, a, as an entertainment reporter, you know, I've had calls to go to his Bagger Street studio home. And then, of course, to interview him. You know, I think we have lost a great guy. You know, we have lost our own Quincy Jones. You know, he was a multiple award-winning producer. Remember, he produced that hit song, the greatest song, or one of the greatest songs that ever came from Nigeria. African Queen. African Queen. In that album, Grass to Grace, he bled his blood making that album. You know, he did everything. 
to make sure that uh, two-phase solo carrier became a huge success. You know, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, we lost OJB to this unfortunate uh, kidney matter or kidney ailment. And uh, I think it's as a result, you had the, the, the one of the aides talking, you know, I think it has to do with the fact that uh, we don't have a good health system here. I'm sure the dialysis, you know, wouldn't have, couldn't have relapsed you know, if he had been up and doing with it, you know, checking up in the hospital. You know, you know, before now, he was rumored dead. Mm -hmm. Then at the point in time, he was also said to have uh, suffered a relapse. You know, all these culminated into one uh, indications of the fact that uh, he was having problem managing that kidney transplant. No. All right, but we before now, sorry, Veronica, but before now, he, he, we, we understand that he had the kidney failure and he had a lot of support from yeah. the entertainment uh, circles, artists and everyone supported him and you know he had a successful kidney transplant. So why now that he didn't get so much, will I say, needed support for this kind of thing to happen and well we see an end result leading to his death? Okay, let me quickly say this. You know, we, we uh, uh, Baba Tunde Okungbawa, Okungbawa is an elderly person. It's not age. You know, age crept on him. Mm -hmm. It will be 50 July, just a few days weeks or weeks away. to come, you know. And I think um, he didn't like the idea of uh, telling the whole world that this is my situation. You know, the last one that made people to come together and, you know, solidarize with him, contribute money, and sure he couldn't help it. So he found it quite difficult to come out all the way again, I believe, you know, to tell the world that, oh, this thing has relapsed again. You know, you have to be up and doing with some checks like that, yeah. you know, and then if you check his recent interviews, he saw his death coming. You know, all efforts by the reporter asking him questions on his 15th body, he was not quite confident that he was going to celebrate that body. He only prayed and wished that that did come and it did never came. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. We right. lost an Iroko in studio, a music studio in Nigeria. It's right. unfortunate, you know. I'm afraid it's a tearing moment for me. Okay. And I'm sure for several people who are in the entertainment industry in Nigeria. Mm. May well, so rest in peace. Amen. amen. I'm afraid this is the much we can take on TVC News Our Nigeria. We need to quickly take a break, but we thank you for your time on TVC News Our Nigeria.